What is up my friends? It's Ray back here and welcome to part of my morning workout routine. Seriously, this is what I've been doing for 15, 20 minutes every morning. I've never been a morning person and it has always been a struggle for me to wake up, but this thing is helping me get better about it. It's the Miroc S09 stationary exercise bike and trust me guys, I would not be filming this early without it. This bike is the latest addition to my studio that turned out to be the unsung hero of 2023. The S09 features a sleek compact design, rock solid build quality, wheels up front to easily move the bike around, 16 levels of resistance, an auto adjusting resistance system that's compatible with a bunch of different fitness apps, it's whisper silent when you're riding it, there's a rotatable mount for your phone or tablet, Bluetooth connectivity to pair your device with the bike itself, and you get access to the community based Miroc app where you'll find free fitness classes and also be able to log and track your workout data. Before we continue on with this review though, let us rewind to a quick unboxing and setup so you guys can see all of that fun stuff. So when you first get the S09, it's gonna arrive in a very large box that weighs about 90 pounds. There is a lot of snipping and snapping required to open it up, but once you get inside the box, that's when the fun really begins. This bike is incredibly well packed, and around the sides of the styrofoam, you're gonna find all the pieces that you need to put the bike together. Again, ready your scissors because there is a lot of tape to cut through. Inside the styrofoam, you're gonna find the main frame of the bike along with a few other pieces for assembly. Putting this thing together is very easy and straightforward. It took me maybe about 20 minutes at most. All you really need to do is screw the legs on, put the seat on, slap the handlebar on, and you're gonna be up and riding in no time. One of my favorite things about this bike is its build quality. No matter how fast you're riding or how high you have the resistance set, this bike doesn't budge. This thing is rock solid and it definitely feels like a premium piece of exercise equipment. Not to mention, its sleek modern design is going to fit nicely in any room you choose to put it. For me, this thing fits nicely in my studio, plus it doesn't take up a lot of space. Another thing that I really like about this bike is that it doesn't have a built-in display. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, why? You know, it's should have a built-in display. A lot of people like everything built right in, but in this case, there are two benefits to not having one. One, it brings down the cost, and two, it makes the S09 more future-proof, since you're more likely to upgrade your phone or tablet over buying a totally new bike. I've been using this bike with my M2 iPad Pro, and they work really well together. The rotatable mount is a nice addition. However, I can't help but feel like it is kind of flimsy compared to the rest of the bike. It's still solid, and your device isn't going to buy or slip out. However, you know, it does kind of feel like the odd man out compared to the rest of the bike. Once you have your device mounted there though, another nice thing about the S09 is that you get access to a bunch of free fitness classes with the Miroc app. In the app, you're able to choose from a variety of different classes based on your skill level, and you're also able to log and track your workouts. When you have your device paired with the bike over Bluetooth, it will auto adjust the resistance of the bike based on what's being instructed in the class. It surprisingly works really well, and it gives you that feeling that you're in an actual cycling class. This bike is a great option for beginners and experts alike who want to get in some exercise and don't want an additional subscription for classes on top of buying the bike itself. In addition to that auto resistance, you can also manually adjust the resistance by spinning the control knob that's on the center of the handlebar. This also displays how long you've been riding the bike, how many calories you burned, and more. So how is this bike when you ride it? How does it feel? Well, it's actually really really nice. The pedals are comfortable and smooth, it's low impact, easy on your knees, the seat is plushy, and best of all, it is nearly silent when you're riding. I think that's what took me most by surprise. You're not going to disturb your neighbors or anyone else while you're riding, which is personally perfect for me on my quest to become a morning person. The overall riding experience on the S09 is amazing. Not only do I like riding this bike every morning to try to wake up, but I also enjoy playing my Switch on it during the day. It's a great way to game and get in some exercise at the same time. You can also put the bike in front of your TV or projector and game or watch a movie that way if you want to. Cheers to multitasking my friends, it's a great thing. To start closing this out, I really like the Miroc S09 bike. It's easy to put together, the build quality is incredible, the front wheels make it easy to move around, it's not going to take up a lot of space, that auto resistance is sweet, you get a good amount of free exercise classes via the Miroc app, and best of all, it is not going to break the bank. You get a lot of the same features here that are found in more expensive bikes, only you get them for a lot less. The one issue that I have with it though, like I mentioned before, is the tablet mount. It is solid, don't get me wrong. 
It's just that it does feel flimsy compared to the rock solid build quality of the rest of the bike. Your tablet's not gonna fall out or anything like that. It just is a little flimsy. Regardless, the S09 is an all around awesome stationary bike that will be a nice addition to anyone's living room, game room, studio, home gym, or wherever it is that you wanna get some exercise in. This is one of those things that I never knew I needed. So that's about all I got for this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow at RaceTrasis on Twitter and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace!